All right, guys, what is up? We are back for our second live of the day with this team, this awesome buzzwool sweeping team. This thing is amazing in this tier, honestly. Like, ah, oh, it's so good. Blunder was right, man. This this mon is insane. But we're gonna jump right into it. We're gonna get a game, hopefully quickly, as we do. I just want to see because I haven't checked yet. What is my rank right now? Uh, 13. Oh god, <laughs> I dropped down super low. 1329. Okay, we're gonna try to fix that right now. So my opponent has a uh, pretty weak Team Ten Hill Lego, so we're, that's exactly what we're going to lead with, uh, as he does not have a switch into Power Gem at all. So we are just going to go for that and get a kill immediately on this Marowak. All right, cool. Zygarde's going to come in. I expect Earthquake or Thousand Arrows from this thing. Probably Earthquake. Uh, no, th Thousand Arrows is just better in general. Um... I could go out into Buzzwool, should be able to, yeah, Buzzwool should be able to take any hit from this. As he goes for 1000 arrows, that does 20%, okay, cool. Uh, let's go for the, uh, I'm gonna go for the Leech Life here, predicting the, not this, I, I was expecting Tapu Fini to come in actually, uh, predicting an Earthquake, but uh, this makes more sense of course. I'm just going to, do I sub up here? I'm gonna go for the Substitute, let's see what he wants to do. Does he go for the Leech Seed? Yes he does, okay, cool. Uh, we'll go for the Ice Punch to get off some damage on this. Uh, 27 with a crit. He's gonna go for Flamethrower. Okay, so he reveals his set. That's nice. Uh, and we're gonna go out into Heatran here. Because Heatran resists both of his moves or is immune. Uh, and he does not have a switch in to this at all. We're gonna go for Magma Storm. He brings in Tapu Fini, but little does he know. We have the Bloom Doom on deck. Let's go for it. And we're able to knock out Tapu Fini from full. What? Yo, this thing is crazy. This thing is actually insane. What? Yo. Okay, what is Absol gonna do to me? I'm gonna Magma Storm. Forget this thing. He's gonna go for Swords Dance, yeah. We're gonna hit it, and we are going to knock this thing down to 7%, and it's gonna tie to the uh, to the Magma Storm damage. And this is just great. This is going amazing right now. <laughs> and I can even keep Heatran in the back for Celesteela and Executor. It's looking really nice. Um, yeah, Zygarde doesn't do much to me. It just goes for Thousand Arrows and I bring in Buzzwool again. <laughs> like, that's literally all he can do. And, uh, it's looking like Nihilego can... Well, I mean, as long as Zygarde's around, not really, but... I think, uh... What can, what can do it? Actually, if I get Celesteela low enough, then Latios can do it. Latios can do it with, um, with Jaco Meteor. It can just win. But Zygarde is really, really fast. He's actually going to bring in Executor. I'm not sure why. I am faster than this. Now, of course, this is a neutral hit. Um, but I think I'm just going to go for it. I miss, unfortunately. He's going to go for Earthquake. Okay, so he does have the EQ. However, doesn't Swellow come in and... No. No, hold on. Let's go Buzzwool. I like Buzzwool here because I get up, uh, I can go for an Ice Punch and he has to be aware of that because I've already shown it. So what I'm actually going to do is double out into Nihilego right here. That way if he goes for a Dragon move we can take it um, with Nihilego. And if he goes for a uh, switch out into Celesteela we can also deal with that. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Alright, so we're just going to go for the, uh, we're just going to go for the Power Gem here. Uh, it is neutral, and we do a lot of damage to this thing. He's going to go for Leech Seed. I expect to switch out into Zygarde, so I am just going to go into Swallow right here. As he decides to go for the Protect, actually. Okay, good play. Uh, we're just going to go for the Heat Wave. And uh, if he wants to stay in to try to Heavy Slam me, that's great. He goes out into Zygarde. He takes that not that well, actually. He takes 26% from that. And he can go for Thousand Arrows right here, but I can just switch right out into Buzzwool. As he's actually going to go for Iron Tail, that still does absolutely nothing. And we can just go for, yeah, we can just go for our opponent forfeiting right there. <laughs> so that's going to be another win for us. And, uh, wait a minute, do we get two wins already? Uh, or is that just one? I think that's just one. I, I've lost track at this point. Uh, but we're four and a half minutes in, there's no way we have two wins. Let's go on to the second game, guys. We're 1-0. and oh. I'm recording this right after the last live, so as you can see, uh, I don't know what's going on anymore. <laughs> so, we're against Garden of Sinners, and uh, we got another uh, Tapu pair right over there. Uh, we have a uh, Marowak once again, which is great. I'm just going to lead with Nihilego again, 
as he decides to lead off with Metagross, so not the best matchup for us, obviously. Um, nothing is really safe against this, actually. This is probably my biggest issue right here. Uh, so I think I'm just going to go for damage on it. I'm just going to go for a Thunder, honestly. As he's faster than us because of the new way that Mega Evolution works. Yep. Okay, so. Um, let's go into Swallow. And threaten this thing with a Heat Wave. <laughs> and let's just go for Boom Burst. Because if I get off damage on this thing, it's good. Uh, he's actually going to go out into Zapdos, which is great. We're going to get off 52% on that. I am going to play for the roll. We're going to go for another Boom Burst. Uh, I think his Zapdos took that way too well, to be honest. Uh, as he is going to drop to the next one. Yeah, I think that was a min roll on Boom Burst, to be honest. Um, Metagross is going to come back in. And you know what? I'm just going to go for another Boom Burst, honestly. Because, if I recall correctly, there's a move called Zen Headbutt, and it doesn't knock out Buzzwool from full. <laughs> so, I'm going to go for the EQ. Uh, as he's actually going to switch out into Marowak, which is perfect. We're able to almost knock that thing out. Uh, and we're just going to go for another EQ right here and knock this thing out. Beautiful. Alright, we're able to get rid of it. And uh, Tapu Lele is probably coming in here. I can almost guarantee it. Actually, Tapu Finny comes in. Okay. That's perfectly fine with me. Um... I do have the Majerna right here, which can set up and win at this point, if I choose to. Um, yeah, I'm going to go for EQ, because if he goes for Moonblast and almost knocks us out, he doesn't even get the knockout. Um, I'm going to go for another EQ. It's perfectly safe. He should go into Metagross at this point, as Metagross is going to come out. Yep. And we are going to not be able to eat a Meteor Mash, that's for sure. Does he not have Earthquake? He either doesn't have Zen Headbutt or Earthquake. It's one of the two. I don't really need Heatran. Actually, I need Heatran more than I need this. So let's just go for the Leech Life. He is just going to go for the Mash. That's fine. Um, I don't know, man. What do I do? Do I weaken this with Latios, with a Draco Meteor first? Yeah, I think I do. I go into Latios first, and we drop a Draco on this. Uh, and then we're going to go into Majerna. We're going to live a hit. We're going to go for the Shift Gear, and we're going to attempt to win. Because Corkscrew, Corkscrew Crash is going to destroy Hippowdon. He's actually going to switch into Hippowdon, which is great. He's Spadef for some reason. And I'm going to go hard into Heatran, actually. Because uh, I can't see him going for an Earthquake, one. Uh, and two, we can go for the Bloom Doom right here. And get off a lot of damage on something. He's going to go out into Tapu Lele, that is absolutely fine. Able to get off 76% uh, on that. And basically, I'm going to go for the Magna Storm here. As he's actually faster, so he's Scarf. Uh, or he's just max speed. Uh, we're gonna get off the, uh, the Magma Storm. He's probably either Hammer Arm or Earthquake. We're gonna find out right now. He is Earthquake. And how much is, um, how much is his Hippo at? That is the question. We're gonna go out into Latios again. We're gonna go for another Draco. Let's see if he wants to let this thing get damaged. I doubt it. Uh, as he actually wins the speed tie, unfortunately. So now it comes down to one thing and one thing only. Can we para <laughs> into full para? We, if that's our play, then we don't need the speed, right? So, yeah, let's go for it. He's going to go for Earthquake, and it's actually going to crit us and knock us out. So, yet another game two loss, unfortunately. Hopefully, we can pull out a win in the last one. As we get a team, I thought it only had three mons on it for a second. Now, Primarina, I'm very scared of. This thing is very, very threatening to our team. I have nothing for it. Um, he should see that Metagross beats me in theory so i'm gonna lead off with swallow that way we can at least get off a uh, heat wave he actually leads off with como all right uh i don't trust this thing at all <laughs> we're gonna go for the u-turn let's see what he does uh i could have a flying move yeah i could have a flying move hold on i'm gonna go for boom burst i don't expect him to stay in because one he's not faster than me and two, yeah, okay. He did expect a flying move. And his Landorus is going to get blown back because of it. Awesome. 
And now he doesn't have a great switch to this. He's actually going to go Hoopa, which I do not want to stay in on uh, against this with a Psy Shock. Definitely not. I'm going to actually go out into... Um, oof. This is tough. Let's go into Heatran. This thing's probably going for Psy Shock. Or Psychic. Okay. That, I take that even better, which is nice. He does get the Spit F drop, unfortunately. So I'm actually going to switch back into Swellow, predicting a Shadow Ball. As he's going to go for Drain Punch. Okay. Um, getting really annoyed at this thing. I just go for U-turn. It's not gonna do anything. Let's just go for Boom Burst. Honestly, this is gonna switch out into Metagross and let let it take a hit. Awesome. Okay, we're gonna go for another Boom Burst now. So he left his Metagross super low, which is great. That's awesome. Eighteen percent. Now we can deal with it. Cool, cool, cool. So we don't have to fear this thing as much. I can just go out into um, I can go out into Buzzwool here. I did want to save this as my check to uh, Ferramosa, but I should be okay against that. We are going to click Earthquake. He's going to go for the Meteor Mash. That's only going to do 45, 48%, I guess. Uh, we're going to get the plus one attack, and Primarina does come in to destroy us with a Fairy Move. Uh, but if it goes for a Fairy Move... Actually, let me switch out into Heatran directly. I'll tell you why. One, because we can Bloom Doom. And it can still potentially kill from here, by the way. Even with this minus one special attack. And secondly, if he's uh, not choice, he's going to reveal it right here. So we'll go for Bloom Doom. We'll do 48%. He's going to go for the Sparkling Aria. Yep, he's not choice. All right, cool. Uh, can we go into Majorna and win? We, do, we don't have a fairy move, unfortunately. So, no, we cannot. I'm going to go out into Nihilego and fire off a... Is that my play? Yeah, that's my play. Fire off a Power Gem. <clears throat> it should be a little bit stronger than Bloom Doom, actually. Um, in theory. In theory. Uh, Sludge Wave might even be a better play. Well, yeah, because this thing is Fairy, right? So, <laughs> Sludge Wave is definitely my play. It Specs. It is going to knock out Primarina. We are at plus one. Show me your counters right now. <laughs> Show me your counter. Uh, he's going to go into Ferramosa. That is indeed a counter. <laughs> it outspeeds me and it destroys me. I'm going to go for the Sludge Wave again. He's going to go for the High Jump Kick. It's easily going to knock us out. He gets plus one attack, meaning that uh, he's more than likely adamant. Choice Scarf is what I'm thinking. We're going to go for the Ice Punch. He's going to go for the High Jump Kick. It's not going to do enough, and Ice Punch is going to do a lot to this thing, as you can see. Um, however, now I'm in trouble. Because if his next high jump kick connects, then I think he can knock out Latios. <laughs> I'm not 100% sure, but I think so. Uh, with plus two attack, I'm pretty sure. Let's see. Let's go into Latios. Let's click Psy Shock. Is this going to be enough? It is. Yep. So now we have to play off a miss. Uh, against this thing, we can go for a shift gear. All right. He just knocks us out. So that's going to be another win. For an opponent, okay, we're we're one and two. I'm gonna bring it back, guys. We're only at 13 minutes, so let's get another game. It's very fast pace. Sorry about all the losses, guys. I mean, it happens. Um, I didn't have a check to Feramosa at that point because I let Buzzwool get too low. So, if I just had a little bit more HP, a little bit more, I would have been able to uh, to take two hits. But my opponent is very once again Heatran weak. Uh, he's got four Fire weeks. Uh, he's got a Toxapex, but that doesn't take hits well. Uh, let's lead off here with Nihilego. As he's going to lead off with Chansey. That's not the best lead for us, not the worst. Uh, we're going to switch out into Buzzwool. Threaten this thing immediately. Actually, he might just go for Thunder Wave. Mm. Let's go for Power Gem. Let's see what he wants to do. He's going to do 20%, which is nice. He's going to go for Stealth Rocks, which is kind of what I expected. But I do have Defog in the back, so it's not a big deal. I'm just going to go for another Power Gem. Let's see if he actually switches out. That would be amazing, because <laughs> we'd get a huge hit off on something. Celesteela is going to take half, uh, or near half. And we're just going to go for another one. I don't know why he would have let this thing get damaged, honestly. And uh, if he... Wow. <laughs> he lets me just knock it out. Amazing. All right, so now we're doing 30% to Chansey, which is still not good, but uh, it's better than it was before. And Toxapex is going to come in. Okay. Uh, how well do you actually take this? 
Not well at all. <laughs> you take uh, quite a bit of damage from that. He's gonna go. He did that to go for Haze. I expect Chansey to come in here, so I'm actually gonna double out into Buzzwall. As he is going to go for the recover, actually. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna go for the sub, because this thing cannot break my sub with anything. Uh, we have enough spadef to live a, uh, to uh, tank a Scald behind a sub. As he goes into Tapu Bulu, perfect. We're gonna be gaining extra recovery, thanks to him. Which is very nice. And uh, we're just gonna go for the Ice Punch right here. Let's see what he wants to do. He is faster than us. He should be, in theory. As, uh... Huh. Buzz Wolk would sweep right here. Let's see, 60%, nice. Horn Leech. Uh, he does not break our sub, which is amazing. And uh, he is in range of another Ice Punch, so he's gonna forfeit. So that's two wins, two losses. Let's put it at a positive record. We're only 15 minutes deep. These are going really fast, wow. <laughs> this is probably the most amount of games that I've had in this short time. Uh, he's got re regular Zygarde, okay. Uh, <laughs> not sure why. Yeah, I'm leading Nihilego again. <clears throat> I have no reason not to. He's going to lead with this thing. Uh, I'm just going to go for a Thunder, as we are able to connect and do 73% to this. As he's going to go for a Substitute, he had 2% left to go for a Sub. Alright. Uh, you're going to go for a Heavy Slam, right? So, let's go out into Heatran, because you can't touch me. He's going to go for the Heavy Slam, that's fine. We're going to go for uh, Hidden Power Electric, because it breaks the sub without having to miss. Never mind, it doesn't break the sub. He's going to go for Leech Seed, that's okay. Uh, I'm just going to go for the... Switch out into Swellow, actually, because I expect him to click Sub on the next attack. And then we'll just go for a Boom Burst from there. As he is going to actually switch out into Tapu Koko. Whew! Alright, so that's not good. Um, I gotta go into Latios directly on his Volt Switch or Thunderbolt, as he goes for Thunderbolt, yep. And he can just go for a Dazzling Gleam right here. I'm gonna go out into Heatran on, on his potential Dazzling Gleam, as that is what he clicks. Awesome. And we're just gonna go for the... <laughs> we're just gonna go for the Magma Storm, man, because I'm really, really terrified of this thing. And he's probably just gonna uh, Volt Switch out, but whatever comes in gets trapped, so that's nice. He's actually just gonna Straight Switch out in into Serena to let it die. Great. Awesome. Don't have to deal with this thing's Trop Kicks. And Marowak's gonna come out. I'm still faster than you. What? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> what is he doing? I know he knocks me out with an Earthquake, guys. I'm not... I'm not... that dumb. Uh, but... <laughs> but... If he does that, Nihilego can destroy him. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the Earth Power. He actually just straight drops to that, so that's awesome. And, uh, I'm expecting Zygarde to come in, honestly. Yeah, there it is. Alright, cool. So, let's go into... Uh... <laughs> Buzzwell? Buzzwell? He goes for 1,000 arrows. That does 11%, guys. 11. 11%. <laughs> I'm going for the sub. As he goes out into Celesteela. Yep. Do you take two ice punches? Let's find out. Uh, you do not take two Ice Punches. He's gonna go for Fire Blast, and we are going to go for another sub right here. He's actually gonna forfeit, uh, so 1825, we are gonna keep going. Let's see if we can make it- I'm getting greedy here. Let's see if we can make it 4 and 2. I think we can. This team is so cool, man. This team is so cool. Honestly. Alright, so we got a Z-Drum. Uh, zoom roll on the other side. We have a Landorus. Uh, let's see if he knows this set. Let's see if he knows this set. We're killing this turn one. Hidden Power Ice. Let's go. Yup, there it is. Goodbye, Lando. <laughs> that catches so many, so many people off guard. So many people. It's insane. Uh, Duck Trio is gonna come in. It's gonna be able to knock us out, obviously with an earthquake, but it's fine. Whatever. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> we got rid of Lando. Uh, let's go to Buzzwell and set up a sub and basically win. Uh, <laughs> essentially. Let's go for that. He won't be able to break it. If he has Memento, he'll go for it here, probably. I would expect that. Uh, he's actually gonna go for Stone Edge, that's only gonna do 18%. So, if he stays in here, that's very bad for him. I'm gonna go for EQ. He's gonna go for another Stone Edge, that's fine. Uh, we're gonna go for the Earthquake, knock him down to Sash, and we're gonna go for another Sub, as he breaks our Sub. And, uh, now you're in a very bad spot, my friend, because I have plus one attack. <laughs> this is looking pretty good. Um, Earthquake is going to do a lot to Azumarill if he wants to Z-Drum up. Um, 
I'm actually going to go for Leech Life on the first turn against it. He's going to bring in Scizor. I'm just going to go for EQ. He's probably going to Bullet Punch. Yep. And uh, Scizor takes 46. <laughs> wow. Um, now I can go Heatran, so I'm just actually going to go, go for another EQ. He's going to go for Swords Dance. Awesome. I'm switching out into Heatran here on his Bullet. Yep, there it is. And now we can go for the Earth Power and knock this thing out. Beautiful. Uh, Zoomerill is going to come in. Get blown back by a Bloom Doom, my friend. Get blown back. If he goes for Aqua Gen and knocks me out, he's banded. Like, there's there's no other situation. He's 100% banded. We're able to take out the Azumarill with Bloom Doom. There it is. This team is insane, man. It's so good. There's another forfeit. And I'm not going to keep getting greedy, guys. We're going to leave it there at 4 and 2. If you guys enjoyed this live and the one before it, if you haven't checked out the other one, definitely do so. It's the video directly before this one. Uh, but if you did enjoy this one, make sure to leave a like down below for me, guys. It makes me uh, happy. <laughs> it lets me know that you guys enjoy these videos. Uh, leave a comment for me as well. Check me out on Twitter and on Facebook in the description down below. And uh, I don't say this ever, um, and I really should. But guys, I leave links to, in the description as well to uh, Glitch X City and Scythe Gang, uh, both of which who provide the music for uh, these episodes. So if you guys do enjoy the music, definitely go check them out. Uh, I also le left a link to the person that creates most of the thumbnail art, like the Pokemon that you see in the thumbnails. Uh, his link on DeviantArt is in the, in the description as well, so please go check him out. Uh, I never give uh, credit during the video to the people that help me out so much, so just wanted to do that right at the end. And uh, yeah, if you haven't subscribed already, guys, definitely do so, and I will catch you guys later. Ciao.